Hi everyone, please excuse the strange lighting that I have going on here. I'm working with natural light and it's just a bad time of day. Um, but today I wanted to talk about a very uncomfortable issue for most people and that is the issue of parasites. But it's very important if you have Lyme disease and that is because Lyme disease and parasites go hand in hand, unfortunately. So Dr. Klinghardt talks a lot about how the small lives within the big and Lyme disease actually hides within large parasites, interestingly enough. And usually people with Lyme disease or other health problems have a very compromised immune system. And usually for a normal person, everybody comes into contact with parasites. Everybody comes into contact with parasite eggs through your pets, through your fruits and vegetables that you eat, through undercooked meat, through the soil, through the outdoors. It's very easy to come into contact with parasite eggs and parasites, but usually a healthy immune system will kill off the eggs and kill off the parasites. That's what our bodies are designed to do. But unfortunately, if you have Lyme disease or other health issues, your immune system is compromised and therefore it's more difficult for it to kill off the parasite eggs and parasites and parasites can thrive within our bodies. Also, Lyme disease hides within parasites. So if you are treating your Lyme disease with antibiotics or a Rife machine, for example, you are not reaching some of your Lyme because it's hiding within the parasites. So the only solution for that is to kill off the parasites. Um, now timing is very important because sometimes your body isn't ready for an overload of toxins because when the parasites die, the parasites die, you're dealing with die off, you're dealing with Herxheimer reactions, you're dealing with extra toxins on your system. So you have to deal with it at the right time during treatment and my best advice I can give to you is to do muscle testing to identify when the right time is for you to address your parasites. Um, and then when it is time for you to address your parasites, usually um, I suggest using this, which is, uh, you can buy it online, I'll link it below. It's called uh, Mimosa Pudica, I'll just show it to you there. It's called uh, Microbe Formulas Mimosa Pudica and um, you can just order it online. It's not too expensive, it is quite costly, but you can order it from any country, which is fantastic. And you stay on it for six months. You take two pills on an empty stomach in the morning and two pills on an empty stomach before dinner in the evening. And you need to make sure that you treat your whole family because parasites can... They're extremely contagious. The microscopic eggs get onto your bedding. They can get onto uh, your toilets, your bathtubs, your showers, anything that you share within the family. Um, so you have to treat your whole family and you have to most importantly treat your pets. I'm not saying you have to use this to treat your pets with, but um, your vet should have a dewormer for your pets and your pets need to be dewormed regularly. It's something that most people think, oh, we don't have worms in developed countries. We, I don't have worms, I'm sure I don't have worms. I keep very clean, I keep very hygienic. But the reality is when you put your pin into um, a machine, a card machine at the shop, somebody before you could have had an egg on their finger from going to the toilet and put their finger on that machine and now you have it and you touch your mouth or you eat something and then you have an egg within your system. It's as easy as that, it really is. So we all have parasites, we all have parasites, but our immune systems usually would be able to deal with it. If we are sick, our immune systems don't deal with it so well. So that's why it's important for um, Lyme patients to deworm. Um, and I think this could be incorrect, but I think uh, somebody, like an expert that I've come into contact with during my healing journey, informed me that the parasites with the Lyme disease within the parasites 
also help the parasites to thrive. Um, so they basically have a relationship where they help each other out. So it's imperative that you address parasites if you have Lyme disease. So I'll put a link below where you can order these from. You'll have to stay on them for at least six months just because of the life cycles and everything of the parasites. And um, it works. Trust me, it works. I've tried many different methods um, to do a parasite cleanses. And um, I've done wormwood and I've done all the herbal things. And this is what works the best, in my opinion. Um, there are other things you can do in conjunction, like taking probiotics and activated carbons. But for me, my body, when I did muscle testing to see which was the best way, it only wanted this. So you can use this alone as well. So um, I think that uh, one of my main points that I want to get across is that we all have to accept that we do have parasites, especially if you are a sushi eater because that's raw fish um, that contains parasites. So, or if you eat carpaccio, raw meat contains parasites. So um, we all have them. And um, if we are sick, it's best to make sure that our systems are not overloaded. We want to aid our systems the best we can in order to let our immune system fight the disease the best way it can. That's the best way I can describe it. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.